for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today I'm going to do something I haven't done in quite a while, actually, which probably not too long ago, but for me, it feels like a while with all the recent channel videos I've been making. I haven't done a sniping filter, so I have a few, and I have some investments I think you guys should be making, so the investments are based off of potential Ultimate Legends that I believe will be coming soon that will be in high, like, high demand, and as far as the sniping goes, it's just something I've always done with my friends every year around this time of the year that I always thought it was a good filter to snipe at because it's a very wanted card. Now, before I get into this, first off, go to the other video, comment some questions for the Q&A with my girlfriend that I'll probably be doing tomorrow. Gonna be a good time. I think we have plenty of questions at this point, but maybe we can get some better ones in there. There's really good ones, but just in case. Also, you guys have been asking why I haven't been posting gameplays. I'll start, I'll start heading over to where I'm going, by the way, I'll say that. So, the reason is, I don't know why, I have like a top-of-the-line Elgato capture card, but for some reason, you see how HD it looks now? Whenever I go into a gameplay, it pixelates the whole game, and I don't know why. I'm on like top settings, top everything. I think it's a more of a setting software issue that I have to fix out. So I pre I plan to call them today, probably. Yeah, I'll probably call Elgato today and fix this with them today because I'm gonna be in California next week, and for that week in California, I have some pretty big things planned. So I have a few collabs with some YouTubers planned, and um, I'll give you guys some incentive here. So comment down below what YouTubers you think I'll be collabing with. If you can get if you can get two out of the three correct. I'll, I'll, I'll toss you 20k and multiple people get it I'll randomize it but I plan to have about two pre-recorded for next week probably some mutt draft maybe some ultimate team maybe a pack and play maybe um, a discard challenge I don't really know yet but I have a few planned for them in California pre-recorded to upload so that's I'm gonna stop wasting your time but you guys get it right so comment down below who you guys think I'll be collabing with and I'll toss you 20k if you get it right now I like to snipe out of this set right here I know it's weird to think of right but every year Vic cards always go for a lot and they're always so easy to snipe through so look like right here he's going for 296 so this card won't lose too much value during the week obviously because it's not going to be packed so this card should stay dormant around here i don't there's not too much going to this if you can get this card for about like 250 you just sit here you see one for 260 250 you just pick it up you put it up for 295 and then it'll sell it about you'll probably with a reduction get about 265 back give or take 265 so you'll make about 15k if you can get these out. Now these are just easy because they're there. Like it's very simple. You just click on it without any. There's really no filters involved here. That's just cool about this one. I'll get into the filters afterwards. Now this one's really expensive. Oh my god. These are definitely more. These are definitely higher price than the set actually is worth. But you can people will still buy them. Now the Michael Vick here for 350. I wouldn't touch this one. This one's too high priced for me. I feel like that one's gonna come down at some point. So don't even bother with that one. This not the 190 right here is a pretty good one. So I actually sniped one out not too long ago for about 24k, and I just sold it for 36 950. Actually, that's not even mine. Oh, that is mine. Okay, that is mine right there. I thought it sold. I guess my other card sold. So this is a good one too. If you can get these for below 30k, you just put them right back up. So you can sit on this one. There's a decent amount of them. You just sit here and get them. For, if you can get them for below 30k, toss them back up for 37k. Make a quick 4 to 5k every time. And if it's below below 30k, like 20k, it's even better. Now, there's one more Vic left before I get out of here. Oh, there's two more Vicks. Okay. This one goes for 32k. This one seems like it's very low, so I think I think my favorite one is the other one, but this one. Again, below like 28k is a pretty decent one, but like I would stay away from that one. I'd stick to this 90. This is my favorite one right here. Or this one right here. Now, the 88 halfback. I actually haven't looked at this one yet. Oh, right there. Perfect. Snipe. Ah, I missed it. Damn. All right. Well, this one right here is a pretty good one, too. So, these are going to... These look like they're going for... Now, I guess 20k is what they're going for. 20 to 30k, somewhere between there. So I'd probably stick to below 14 on this card is what you want to get it at every time. But this 90 right here is my favorite one. It has been a filter I've been using this week. And, um, yeah, this is I'd stick to this one no matter what. Now heading over to the auction block, though, for the typical ones. The issue right now with the market is that the prices aren't going to stay. So whatever you snipe, don't hold on to. Sell it overnight. The best advice I can give you because this market's going to die at some point and your snipes are going to not become snipes anymore because they're going to go down in value. So this week, do not be holding on to many snipes. Unless it's like a Vic, obviously, or some other cards. There's some cards you can keep, but for the most part, don't hold on to snipes. So if you come to the 98, 97s, 98, 99, don't buy, I wouldn't be sniping these cards right now. These cards are overpriced. So like if you snipe a Calvin Johnson out, let's say for 370, let's just say, 
the card really is only worth about 370 so like i probably wouldn't be touching these cards right now now obviously if you find one for like let's say sean taylor for like 320 obviously buy it but these cards are gonna be coming down i personally like to snipe right here i think this is the nice area they're not too expensive either so it's it's like a decent area where you don't have to have too many coins to do it and you can trust that these prices are good so i like these right here so you want to get these for below 200k below 200k you toss them back up for like 225 you'll always make at least 5k and if it's obviously if it's a lot less like 170 160 you make quite a bit on this one but you can't filter them like this you have to filter them usually by all offense yeah perfect right there so you sit right here you don't really have to go by newest because they're all 97s i mean obviously a limited time card but if someone posted below 500k like those, those that's, the odds of that are so rare i mean you could i guess it's always safe to go by newest or i guess yeah six newest so pretty much you want to see these cards for below two mm, i'm not gonna say that definitively yet hold up because i know some of them go for a little more like this andre reed is capping at about 245 and so yeah if you so everyone besides andre reed pretty much if you see andre reed for below 210 pick him up but every other car for the most part find them below 200k it's very it's a very good one it's very active to be honest with you obviously people are going to post it for the normal price here and there. i did not mean to click bears but occasionally you'll find one and it's an easy way to make coins right now my like i said my favorite one's the vic this one's really good too i've just been doing it a lot so I, i'd probably stick to the vic to be honest the vic one's a nice one and not to mention if you want vic i plan on building vic at some point i'm still trying to save up coins right now because i want to get vic and lawrence taylor and i'm not sure if i'm going to sell my team yet i'm between selling my team or um make, making the giants team team or keeping my team so i've been saving the coins i'm waiting too because i know vic's gonna die in price i don't want to be impatient and get vic and then be broke for now and then not be able to invest if a blitz comes out and then vic goes down half the price like he always does so i'm just waiting on that one like like 216 right there Anthony Munoz is 228. It's a good price to keep, not a good price to uh, you know sell back. But if you can get that for like 200 flat, it wouldn't be bad. It's sold obviously because people could obviously use that and keep it. Now, for the low ballers, just people with the lost coins, I preferably like this one. I said it in the last video. I was just quickly briefly briefly mentioning it. This is my favorite one probably out of the Ultimate Legends right here. That for cheap obviously, not not my my favorite one is the 97s, but this is my favorite one for cheap these are good because they have a baseline for the most part like a steady baseline and then the training will keep them at this value they're going to stay at about 30k that you can sell them now remember the prices you see now aren't always the price you sell back at so like what i would do for you guys i would sit here and refresh right so you're going to want to get a card that's below about 25k if you can get it for like 23 24 25 you buy it now you're saying like if i sell for 27 i'm not going to make coins but no you wouldn't sell it for there you're going to hold the card you're going to wait till about you're going to put it up for like 12 hours for like 32k all right and then tomorrow morning we wake up it probably sell if it doesn't you just put it back up you have all week and these cards that's what i like these cards aren't gonna, they're not gonna be volatile they're not gonna fluctuate too much they're gonna stick in the daytime midday they'll be about 27k at night they'll be about 32 33 so if you sell for 32 you get a 3k reduction a 3.2k reduction which will leave you at about let's just round to 29k so anything below anything that you can get that you sell for 32k you'll make a profit of about 5k on if you get it for below 25 like i said you could honestly buy them for even 26k like 25 26k because then you can just put them up for 32 and still make them the same money so anything below 26k buy and then put them up for 32 overnight and if let's say you buy like 10 of them right that's 10 times a profit of 5k that's 50 that's 50k a day which for a lot of people it really isn't that bad even for me it's not bad right now considering my corn stack hasn't moved too much and i mean i'm sorry my corn stack hasn't moved too much just like uh, i mean i just haven't really been doing a lot of things on this game per se because i've been i've been in the works with like you know content creating and trying to figure things out for everyone trying to set up collabs and trying to fix my elgato for gameplays i've been so busy with everything else especially with the channel and how well it's doing lately but i haven't really put too much uh time into the game itself but i'm still playing these videos out for you guys so at least you guys can do something with it so that's about it for this video guys i'm not going to drag it out any longer as i usually say because i think you guys understand the point i know how youtube you could just go rewind back and you can just rewatch what exactly what I said. I'm not going to drag it for the people that understood it already. If you get what I'm saying. So that's about it for this video, guys. If you haven't already, go down below, comment who you think I will be collabing with this next week. You probably you probably won't get it. But if you, if you get it, comment down below. If you get two out of the three, I'll give you 20K. If you get, if only people only get one, I'll randomize it for 10. And if you get none, well, thanks for playing.
and um, also drop the sub. We're still getting up there, boys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, oh, last thing. Go comment on the Q&A video. And I was thinking about it. Maybe I'll give the best, my favorite question. I'm also going to shout out everyone. Everyone that I put that question into the video, I will obviously shout you out and give you credit for the question. And maybe for my favorite question, I'll toss someone some coins for that too. You know, whatever makes the video interesting, I'll toss some coins for it. So thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you later.